Hey, today we'll explore prototyping in phase, a powerful feature that brings your designs to life. Prototypes allow designers to test and refine how users will engage with the product, providing a way to visualize user flow and interactions early in the design process. For example, when we hover over this button, it changes color. This provides visual feedback that helps our users understand they can interact with the element. Let's look at some examples we've built. Now, let's create our own interactions, which are called actions in phase. We'll start with this simple design. First, select the element you want to make interactive. In this case, we'll select this card. With the element selected, click the New Action button. This creates an action and opens three important interfaces. The action bar provides controls for interactions, such as playing animations, looping, and adjusting animation speed. The Trigger Settings panel is where we define where and how our interaction is triggered. The Compact Action panel is where we create or manage keyframes and adjust easing. We can also expand it to Full Action panel for precise keyframe editing. Let's talk about triggers. A trigger is what starts an interaction. It consists of two parts, an event, like clicking or hovering, and a selector, the item you interact with, like a button. Event is the type of trigger, and selector is the element you interact with. The most common events are click and hover. Besides those, Phase offers a comprehensive set of triggers to fit any interaction needed. The load trigger happens automatically when the screen is first displayed. Click triggers when a user clicks or taps an element. Hovering occurs when a cursor moves over an element and stays there. Pressing triggers when a user presses and holds on an element. Mouse in activates as soon as the cursor enters an element's area. Mouse out triggers when the cursor leaves an element's area. Mouse down occurs when a mouse button is pressed but not released. Mouse up triggers when a mouse button is released after being pressed. Each event type lets you control exactly when interactions happen, making your designs feel natural and responsive. Next to the event dropdown is the selector, which decides the element you interact with. So, if we choose hover as the event and this card as the selector, when we hover to the card, a response will happen. Let's make it slightly move up when it is hovered. By default, actions are set to trigger on click of the selected element. We can change this by clicking on the event dropdown. Once we've created our interactions, it's time to test them in prototype mode. Click the prototype button here. In prototype mode, our design functions like a real application. You can interact with all your elements as a user would. This is perfect for testing user flows and making sure your interactions feel right. To exit prototype mode, press escape or click the exit button. After creating an interaction or prototype in phase, we can easily invite colleagues and stakeholders to review and interact with the prototype. With the restricted link, they will be able to collaboratively edit our original file in real time using a multi-cursor view. The Remix link will produce a template, allowing others to copy the file to their own dashboard without the ability to edit our original file. Another thing we have is Prototype Link, which enables us to share only the final prototype with others. Anyone with the link can access the file, but they will not have permission to enter edit mode. Before we wrap up, let's address some common questions about interactions. How many actions can I add to a single element? There's no limit. You can add as many as you need. But remember that simpler designs are often more usable. Can I create conditional interactions based on user input? Not yet. How do I make sure my interactions work well on mobile? You can access prototype mode on mobile to ensure everything aligns well. Awesome! Now we know how to create engaging prototypes in phase. With these tools, we can transform static designs into interactive experiences that feel alive and responsive. To learn more, check out our other videos for deep dives into specific tools and features. Thanks for watching!